um, ammonia, you bubble ammonia through it, and the ammonia reacts and causes nickel hydroxide to precipitate out of the solution, and then that adheres into the pocket plate, the nickel steel pocket plate, and then eventually you compress that down, you heat that up to boil off the water, and then you have your nickel steel pocket plate cathode. You do a similar thing for the iron anode, and then you overcharge the battery for 16 hours, and then you have a nickel iron. Wow. We, according to what I read of Edison's patents, that's how you do it. There's probably details that he left out. Probably. What do you know about uh, Nikola te Tesla? Nikola Tesla, I know. I've read some of his work. Um, it gets a little dense. Uh, but Nikola Tesla did definitely it, had very interesting... Did technology. he invent, uh, like, free free energy? I don't know if he did, but I, think, but I do know he was on something interesting. So one of the problems with, like, a cell phone or a car radio, car radio is a great example, how long is the... E the antenna to wavelength ratio is much different. And one of the things that Nikola Tesla was really into, that people still do today, is he was into resonance. And how resonant circuits and resonant things absorb more energy than you might expect them to. So in his particular case, he had wires coming out of these um, devices. He had these very small antennas, and he would design these circuits of inductors and capacitors and this is basically what an AM radio is. And you have these circuits, and these circuits resonate at a given frequency. And you take this wire and you look at the signal, and the signal's crap. And then you hook it up to the circuit, and all of a sudden the signal just goes like 500 times higher on the receiving end. And it looks like what's happening if you do the math is that the antenna is actually sucking in more of the signal. And Given the way the cosmic frequencies and garbage run out, like outside the solar system, there's a lot of garbage running around. There's planets spinning around, stars. It's producing a lot of low frequency radiation. And I think if you could get a low enough frequency resonator, you could absorb a lot of that radiation. And then, well, everything's bad. The problem is getting.